Hey guys, today I want to share a story with you that's a little bit more personal. See, when I was just a little girl, I had this dream, this fantasy. And it wasn't like the dreams and fantasies of any other little girls that I knew. Because I wanted really badly to find myself on a desert island. Somewhere really far and really remote and really isolated, like Robinson Crusoe, I guess, sailing across the ocean, only to find himself completely alone in the middle of nowhere, away from pretty much the entire world. Now, this was just a childhood dream, so I forgot about it and buried it away. Well, I did, until today. Because today, I find myself in a pretty special place, a pretty remote island, very isolated from the rest of the world and civilization. In a remote part of the Gulf of Aden, between Somalia and Yemen, lies the secretive island of Socotra. Until today, it's one of the world's hardest to reach places. Welcome to Socotra. I came here for two weeks, camping and with almost no electricity or connection to the outside world. I feel like I got to know the island and its people quite well. This is what it's been like. Don't do this at home! We are headed to what is supposed to be the Middle East's biggest and longest cave. I know this is quite a lot for an isolated desert island, but I want us to go back to day seven because it was day seven that truly changed my perspective on what it means to be a modern day Robinson Crusoe. My boat is just ready now, so I think we should get going. Shall we? Let's go. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and that's our boat right over there. Nick, what do you expect from this excursion? The most secluded and remote we've seen in my life. Okay, my childhood fantasies of Robinson Crusoeing around the world are about to come true. I hope. Inshallah. We're actually on our way to Shoa Beach, a really remote part of the island. There's someone living there that I really want you to meet. But in the meantime... Guys, there are dolphins absolutely everywhere here. We are just surrounded. Our boat was surrounded. This is actually my very first time seeing dolphins in real life. So I practically cried. Honest to God. I'm not exaggerating. The beauty of this island just never ceases to amaze me. In fact, it only strengthened my vision of how amazing it would be to live here alone. After an hour and a half out of the open sea with some incredible scenes of dolphins jumping around our boat, we finally arrived on the beach that I really want to show because there's someone really quite special who lives here. I suppose most people would call this a beach paradise, perfect for relaxing, swimming and sunbathing. But actually, to some, it's home. Yep, this is a house. And I really want to take you inside. This is the real Robinson Crusoe, Mr. Hamid of Socotra Island. <laughs> By most standards, you would consider Hamid a hermit. He lives on his own on this beautiful sweeping beach, isolated from the rest of the island. <laughs> Uh, 
أنا ببقى بقى أنا وزعم أو أحلى أنا كعيال أو أحلى But Hamid hasn't only built this house. He's had to fix and rebuild it many times over the years. Even the ceilings here are made out of driftwood, which is covered with bits of fabric to prevent rain from getting inside the shelter. It's a pretty modest life, but the room that Hamid is most proud of is the guest room, which is perched up against a giant rock. <laughs> The surprising thing is that Hamid is just the most gracious host and welcomed us to his home with the most amazing feast. See, he lives here not out of choice but out of necessity for his goats and for his work as a fisherman. But he loves to have guests around. Though he insists that he doesn't get lonely up there, he seemed really happy to have us around. <laughs> After spending a whole day with Hamid and talking to him about his life, I experienced a bit of a reality check, to be honest with you guys. In reality, this is not an easy life at all. This is not the kind of life where you get to live and relax on an island and stare out at the sky and the sunset every day. That's just a fantasy that Hollywood has sold us. In reality, people living alone in places like this have it really tough. It's no fantasy life. It involves a lot of hard work and none of the romantic solitude that we sometimes fantasize about being surrounded by people all the time. I think that childhood fantasy that I once had, it's not quite right. And I see that now and I feel just that little bit more grateful for the fact that I get to choose whether I'm alone or surrounded by people who care and who love me in return. So, <laughs> no Robinson Crusoe fantasies for me anymore, but we will keep on traveling. So I'll see you <laughs> in the next vlog. Bye.